Welcome to VisaReservation.com. Our aim is to make applying for visas easier than ever. If you're planning on traveling to Europe, you may need a visa to be able to enter any of the 26 countries in the Schengen area. As part of your visa application, you may need to provide a letter of invitation in order to make the purpose of your visit crystal clear. Here at Visa Reservation, we want to help you understand everything there is to know about applying for visas. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at why you may need an invitation letter and how to write one. What is the purpose of an invitation letter? When you apply for a Schengen visa, the authorities concerned are trying to determine that you will be visiting the country for the purposes you have stated and that you are not going to overstay or try to work illegally. If the purpose of your visit is to visit someone, you'll need to show an invitation letter from the inviting person. You'll need a letter of invitation for other purposes too, such as if you're attending a conference, traveling to a hospital for medical purposes, or attending a university. Essentially, this very important letter that answers the questions of who you are and why you are going to that particular Schengen country. It doesn't matter which country you're applying for, the letter is a very important part of your visa application. Essential elements of the invitation letter for the visa include the date, the embassy name, the inviting person's name, address, signature and address, the applicant's name and passport number, the relationship to the person who is inviting them, the purpose of their trip and the trip dates, the reason for invitation and any details of attachments. Here's how a sample invitation letter looks like. As you can see, all the information from the inviting person is stated. The invitee details, the purpose of travel, the dates of travel and the reason for the invitation. Plus, there's a list of documents that's been included, such, the, such as the inviting person's ID and passport, proof of accommodation if being invited by a friend or relative, an employment letter if being invited by an employer, and so on. There are many different types of Schengen visa invitation letters, depending on the reasons for your travel and your particular situation. Invitation letter from a friend or relative for visiting purposes. If you're, visit if you're visiting a friend or relative, and this is the main purpose of your trip, you'll need to have a letter from the person whom you're staying with. In the letter, the person who's inviting you must clearly state the relationship between you and them, the purpose of your visit, the length of stay, where you will stay, and who will be paying for your travels. Invitation letter from your employer for business, travel or training purposes. If you're a non-European citizen and you're heading to the Schengen area on business, you'll need to make an application for a short-term Schengen visa under the business category. In addition to the other documents required, you will need to submit a letter from your employer confirming your employment, describing the purpose of the travel and outlining in detail the itinerary of what you will be doing while you're within the Schengen zone. Invitation letter from your spouse. If you're a non-EU spouse of an EU national, you'll have the same rights to free movement within the Schengen zone as long as you're traveling with them. If you arrive with your EU spouse at the border or you're meeting them and you can prove your relationship, you'll be granted entry. Your invitation letter from your spouse will need to verify your relationship with them and it should be backed up by evidence such as your marriage certificate. Invitation letter from your son or daughter. If you're a dependent ascendant of an EU citizen, you'll need to have a letter from your son and daughter you depend on. Your son or daughter will need to confirm your relationship, the purpose of travel, the duration of travel and their EU nationality. Invitation letter from your parents. Similarly, if your parents are EU or EEA nationals, you are their descendant and therefore a family member. Remember to back up your information with documents such as your birth certificate. Invitation letter from your col university, college or school. If you're travelling in order to study abroad, you'll need to supply an invitation letter from your university, college or school that confirms that you've been accepted there. The letter should identify which programme you'll be studying, how long you'll be studying for, and other details such as where you'll be living and who will be paying your tuition. Invitation letter from a sponsor for conferences or trade shows or speeches. If you're visiting a Schengen country in order to give a speech or a presentation at a trade show, you'll need to have a letter of invitation from the organisers of the event. Also, the letter should confirm whether you'll be paid for the speech, 
whether costs and expenses will be covered by the host, where you'll be staying, a detailed itinerary of conference dates and any other additional information. The letter should also include the address, phone number and registration number of the organiser of the event. An invitation letter from a hospital for medical purposes. If you plan to visit the Schengen countries for medical purposes, you must submit a letter from the hospital confirming the purpose of your visit. The diagnosis must be specific and the recommended treatment must be described in detail by a licensed healthcare provider. Also, the healthcare provider must state a specific length to the treatment. This is important. If the treatment is indefinite, it will not be approved. Invitation letter from the official body for delegates. If you're visiting any Schengen country as a member of an official delegation following an official invitation addressed to the government of the third party concerned, you'll need to submit a letter by an authority of that country stating you are officially invited. This applies whether you are participating in meetings, negotiations, consultations, exchange programmes or other events. Although there are many different types of Schengen visa invitation letters, they are all similar in their purpose. They serve to offer evidence that you are visiting the Schengen countries for the reason you have stated and you don't intend to overstay or work in the country illegally. So, now you know all about invitation letters, it's time to get your application started. But if you're not sure where to begin, our friendly team can guide you through all the steps involved in applying for a visa. All you need to do is contact us at www.visareservation.com. Visa reservation can also help with flight and hotel reservation, travel insurance, travel guides, visa interview guides and much more. Remember, if you need assistance with visas, check out our blog page where you'll find many articles about applying for visas. Plus, you can also refer to any of the resources, tips and links included in this video. Thanks for watching.